COVID took away their freshman season, but that hasn't stopped seniors Isabella Caparusio and Julia Glowacki from achieving success. Coming off back-to-back -back District 2 titles, these comments from Crestwood are looking for their third in a row. I mean, I see more and more girls wanting to come out and uh, wanting to learn the game. You know, we got a lot of new feeder programs. Um, teams are growing, and it, it's super cool because I remember, you know, it, it was what is lacrosse to, like, I want to le learn how to play lacrosse, which is, which is kind of cool to see. Oh, our program is on, on the rise. You know, we started off good. We're getting our freshmen in. The players coming up are going to be great. We have some great co coaching staff, some great leaders on our team. So we're all just like bonding, helping each other out. So it's definitely on the rise for Crestwood. Combining to score 400 goals in a career between these two, numbers for number 35 and 10 are not their main focus. It's all about team at the top of the mountain. We just focus on the fact that we want them to have fun here with lacrosse. That's our main message, just have fun with it. Obviously, sometimes there's some mundane tasks we have to do and you know, some hard work that has to be, about, be done. But overall, we just focus on them having a good time, and this group does definitely do that. Well, back in 2013, this Crestwood Girls Lacrosse program became a club sport. Two years after that, an official PIAA member. And in those 10 years, you can already see an increase in the speed of the game and an increase in the development of these girls' skill level. Our chemistry has always been there, so because we've been always playing since we were little. At Stony Brook, Caparusio will major in political science and hopes to become a Navy pilot someday. Glowacki has narrowed her college choices down to five different schools. Steve Lloyd, Newswatch 16 Sports, Luzerne County.